What's going on YouTube? By Device Help here. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get live weather on your iOS 7 lock screen. Now you must be jailbroken. If you haven't jailbroken your device yet, I'll have a direct link down below to my jailbreak video. Go ahead and install Cydia by jailbreaking and then you can jump right back into this tutorial. Just go ahead and jump right into this. Now the first thing you need to do is go into Cydia and download iFile. iFile, we're going to need it to edit the tweak for our location. I'll explain what that means later. Second, you want to go ahead inside Cydia and also download and the tweak itself, which is a, uh, it's called lock screen weather, okay? iOS 7 lock screen weather, and I have all the information down below. Now, once you download the tweak, the first thing you want to go is to your settings extension. You want to go here and tap, and make sure you always go ahead and disable this, and only enable the tweak itself. There it is, iOS 7 lock screen 7. Once you do that, you want to respring. Now, once you install the tweak, it'll have a default location, but of course, you want to change this to your particular location, your particular weather, and that's what I'm going to show you here. It's a very nice way to get lock screen weather here in iOS 7. As you can see, look how nice that looks there uh, for iOS 7, but of course, that's not my location. We're going to go ahead and change that. Now, you want to go ahead and jump into iFile. This is where iFile comes into play. You want to go ahead and tap all the way back, and you want to find System. After System, you want to find Library. Then you want to scroll down, till you find the locks right here and then you want to tap on there script and then right here where it says config.js you want to go ahead and tap onto that you want to go ahead and edit okay now we want to scroll down and right here where it says their website you want to go ahead and copy and paste this website right there okay the whole thing right there when you copy and then you want to jump into your browser of your choice for me Safari and then you're going to copy and paste it and hit search now once you go ahead and search you want to zoom in right here where it says city or zip code you want to go ahead and tap onto there and I'm going to type in my zip code and hit go now what this is going to do is going to give us our weather code now, as you can see it's going to give me several options I got Florida several options there mine is Florida so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, zoom in here to where it says weather for Florida right here is the code I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zoom in really closely just to get the code itself for my location alright again you'll you'll do your particular location of course and then once you do that you want to scroll down right here where it says document dot cookie you want to go zoom in here tap on there and then delete the one that's on there alright make sure you do this correctly and then you want to tap right in between the commas there and the dashes and hit paste. All right, you want to save that. And if you want your weather to show up as uh, Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, you want to go down here to the bottom section right here where it says the C. You want to go ahead and switch that to F. All right, and now we hit save. So now we have our location and Fahrenheit weather, which for me is better to read. Now we're going to go back into settings, scroll down, find the extension. Go ahead, enable it and disable it, or disable it, enable it, heat wrist spring. And that's pretty much how you use the iOS 7 lock screen weather. It's a very, very nice and simple way to get lock screen weather here in iOS 7. Very, very nice. Now, the tweak is $1.50 in the uh, Acidia. You can go ahead and download it for your particular device. It supports all devices running iOS 7. It's a very, very nice way to just get weather. If you tap on the home button there, as you can see, it goes away. So once you go ahead and uh, go back to your lock screen, it always shows up. And you can tap the home button in case you have notifications and it disappears like so. It's a really, really, again, really nice way to get the weather there on your lock screen. I figured I'd share this one with you guys because a lot of you guys were asking me about how to get weather on your lock screen. So there you guys have it. That is iOS 7 lock screen weather. I hope you guys enjoyed this tweet. Please thumbs up this video if it helped you and you enjoyed it. It's been iDevice. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And I will catch you guys real soon. Peace.